Cybertron, we really had something to prove in terms of, yes, Transformers games can be good. With Fall of Cybertron, it's not trying to prove to you whether Transformers games can be good. It really is to show you how great they can actually be. I think in War for Cybertron, we had a lot of characters to choose from. But gameplay variety wasn't that meaningful. You know, maybe one guy was slightly faster. In Fall of Cybertron, we've topped that on its head. So we really have pushed every aspect of the game to be super tight, really clean, and incredibly well balanced. Your gameplay experience can, can change dramatically. With some of the flying missions, you're able to fly around and you know, get the, the drop on the enemy from above. How you use that is a, is a viable tactic. It all depends on how you want to play it. We've, we've definitely made sure that all of the transformation is a viable strategy throughout all these levels. And the fun as a player is, you know, is to get to go into layer after layer after layer and find you know, parts and the strategies that you like the most. You really do start to get a sense of, I'm making gameplay choices about how I want to interact with this space, but it's also wrapped in this big world. Everybody loves playing as Optimus Prime. No one leaves without my permission. I wasn't asking. Leader of the Autobots, he's arguably one of the most powerful Transformers that's ever been created. Leave now. All that boils down to, when you take control of Optimus, you are gonna feel super powerful. He is the leader of the Autobots for a reason, and we've designed the game to make you feel that way. Combaticons, combine into Bruticus! When the Combaticons combine into Bruticus, five full-size Transformers form into one towering colossus. He changes the whole tempo of the battle and the epicness of the battle in itself. As he's starting to stomp around, it just, uh, it just changes the rules. If, if there were two overarching principles that you'd kind of see throughout the game, it's the epicness of scale and the variety of gameplay experiences. Because at the end of the day, it is really all about what it feels like under your thumb.